Hello everybody and welcome back to Ella Bell RB short for Ella Bell Royal Beauty. I'm going to show you how to do this holiday look. There's plenty more to come so stay tuned. First I started off with my elf eyelid primer and my Urban Decay primer in Eden. Then I'm going to take this 24 hour color tattoo. It's the metal line and it is number 70 barely branded and I'm just going to rub that on my eyelid. Then I'm going to take this natural palette I got from Sally's and I believe it was like $12 or something like that. Um, I'm going to take that matte brown, it was the second color in the palette, and I'm going to just um, blend that with my BH Cosmetics uh, blending brush. And all you want to do is keep blending that right beneath the brow and to the crease. Then I'm going to take this color by Jordana Cosmetics. I got this like years ago and it's brown sugar. It's an awesome transition color for me. Um, I'm going to have to try to find that again. I wonder if they still make that color. Um, I'm just going to use that as my second transition color. Just blending that more focus on the crease area. And I'm using the same brush. Then I'm going to my Italia Deluxe the Matte Palette. It's, um, that really uh, red brown that you see um, it has more of like a brick red tone to it and then I'm going to focus that in the crease also this palette is like I love this palette they're all matte shades and it has a, such a variety of colors as you can tell from the picture <clears throat> Then I'm going to go back into that natural palette and I'm going to go into the gold, the third color as an eyelid color and I'm just going to pack that on. I'm going to go kind of over my crease because I have heavy um, upper lid area so it kind of like I have to bring more light to that part so I'm going to go over um, my crease a little bit just packing that color on. And you can do this to build up the color as much as you want. And that brush I'm using is my Sedona Lace 305 brush. I love this brush. I'm also taking that in the tear duct area for it to act as a tear duct highlight. Then I'm going to take that BH Cosmetic brush that I did all those transition colors with and with with with, with whatever left on the brush I'm just going to um, do my windshield wipers just to blend out the line. I'm going to go back into the All Natural palette and use a second to the last color and I'm going to focus that more on the V area and I'm using for that the Sedona Lace EB15 and it's like a pointed blender it's like a pointed crease or pointed blender brush it is the best brush like I love this brush and I'm just gonna pack that on so that you can see the depth that is being placed and see the transition from that really nice gold to that dark brown color just keep blending into the crease and only bringing it up not really in too much then I'm gonna go back into that um, the matte palette by Italia and I'm gonna take that more um, cool tone brown and I'm gonna go over the top not all the way over the top of that um, brown but like just kind of on the end and I'm going to blend up further like a little bit past my crease and just blend it in with that same brush from Sedona Lace the EB15. Then I'm going to take that BH Cosmetics blender brush and with what's ever left on it I'm going to blend some more. Then I'm going to take more of the reddish brown from the matte palette by Italia and I'm going to blend out the harsh edges of the brown. Now 
Next, I'm gonna take my Sedona Lace EB15, the pointed uh, blender brush or pointed uh, crease brush, and I'm going to put that brick reddish brown from the matte palette um, right underneath my waterline blending back and forth. And then I'm gonna brush my eyeballs. <laughs> But we'll try to focus on the lash line. And then I'm going to take um, some of that cool brown from that same palette and go over that, focusing more closer to the waterline. Um, I want to focus it a little more, so I grab my e.l.f. Dollar Line smudge brush and I'm just going to take that underneath the waterline. Some more. And then I'm going to take my Rimmel um, Scandalize. Yeah, coal pencil, and this is in Nude 005, and I'm gonna put that on my waterline. I really love these coal eyeliners. The best, and you can get these from CVS or Walgreens, your local, um, um, what are they called? whatever they're called I'm sorry but I'm gonna take my physicians formula uh, eyeliner and it is in black and it is really good and really precise um, I really like this eyeliner but it does have a shine so if you're more into the matte type um, eyeliner then you probably don't want this one but everything else as far as like the shine and the precise and the blackness of it it's awesome so if you don't mind the shiny black eyeliner, then this is perfect for you. And then I'm going to take this glitter adhesive, and this is by um, Hard Candy, and it's Showgirl Secret. It's glitter glue, and I'm gonna take this NYX gold glitter that's so pretty, and I'm gonna place that in the inner tear duct area and kind of drag it a little bit along the waterline, just a little bit, like one fourth of it. It's so pretty, oh my goodness, I love it. And you don't want to pack this on too much, you want them to kind of be sparse here and there. And then I'm going to take my Great Lash Maybelline, uh, Maybelline Great Lash, lots of lashes, mascara that I just use because I have no lashes. And if you have no lashes, you can't use those big old wands. So this works perfectly for me and I'm just gonna coat my upper lashes and my bottom lashes. Then I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and I'm gonna to try to get that extra glitter and eyeshadow um, from off of my face before I proceed to the rest of my face. Because you know, glitter gets everywhere. It's like you can't stop it no matter what you do. So then I'm going to take my e.l.f. Well, before I take my e.l.f. matte lip color, I'm going to take a red um, lip pencil and I'm going to place that all over my lips. Smudge it in. And then I'm going to take the e.l.f. matte lip color and this one is in rich red. I love this color. It is such a pretty red for me. So if you're anything near my skin tone, you would know what this looks like and if you should get it. It's so pretty. Look at it. Just I'm just going to clean up the sides. And here I am feeling myself. for watching and as usual, God bless.